guys, me Adam Deshaun here with another video. So this video is going to kind of sum up what are the some of the quickest ways to become a nurse. And I'm going to kind of break these things down versus like what, what type of nurses, being LPN and RN, and then sub subsequent degrees. So what are the quickest ways <clears throat> to become a nurse? So one of the one of the quickest ways to become a nurse is also is becoming an LPN or an LVN. Now, depending on where you live in the country, some people have um, some some states call them licensed practical nurses. Some states call them licensed vocational nurses. Now, this degree is going to take you roughly anywhere between nine to eighteen months. Me personally, I my LPN program was at my local technical college, and it took me twelve months to complete my LPN program. So. They took me, I was a nurse in just a year. So that is the first quickest way to become a nurse, depending on where you live in the country. Now, where do you find LPN or LVN programs? Typically, they are going to be offered at community colleges and technical and technical schools and technical colleges. So look at your, so just Google LPN or LVN school closest to me. And then that should be able to direct you on the closest or the nearest LPN or LVN program. So that's the first nurse, first type of nurse. And that's the quickest way to become a nurse is get into an LPN or an LVN program that is typically roughly 12 months. Some are shorter, some are longer. Now, the next type of nurse is RN, of course. So what is the quickest way to become an RN? Now, if you are not already an LPN, the quickest way to become an RN is enroll into a community college. A local community college should have an LP, I mean, an RN program. I'm sorry, an RN program. Now, some four-year universities offer an associate's degree RN program because think about it, an RN degree is typically an associate's degree, uh, an associate's degree. Um, there, there is an old school like diploma RN thing, but I don't think they offer those anymore. So most RNs now are associate degree prepared RNs. So if you, so that degree is going to typically take you about two years if you're not already an LPN. Now, if you're an LPN or an LVN, there are a lot of universities or community colleges that offer a bridge program, meaning that you get into this program as an LPN, There's they, they kind of award you coursework for that first year of an RN program, and then you basically kind of um, merge into a traditional program with the two-year students. Now, there, there's a caveat to that. Most community colleges, or I would say reputable RN programs, are going to want you to complete prerequisite courses before you are admitted to these programs, right? So typically, that's going to take you a year to complete, depending on how motivated you are. For my LP, because of course, you guys who have followed me know that I started as an LPN, and then I did a bridge program to RN, and I had to complete about a year of prerequisite courses to be eligible for admission into the RN program. Now, that took me about a year. So, honestly, it's still going to take you about two years, even if you're an LPN program, but you get to cut that year. You get to merge into an RN program. So, you're really in a, you're, you'll really be in a nursing program if you're already an LPN for about a year after you gain admission to a um, RN, LPN to RN program. Now, let's say you want to go straight to the BSN, right? Let's say now a BSN RN is a bachelor's degree, a bachelor's of nursing, a bachelor's of, I'm sorry, bachelor's of science and applied nursing. So this is a bachelor's degree. So you guys know on average it takes it takes you four years to to earn a bachelor's degree in anything. Now, if you are already and now one quick way to become if you want to go straight in to be an RN with a bachelor's degree, that's gonna take you about four years if you don't have any prior coursework, if you're not already an LPN, if you're not already an RN. If you're already an LPN, there are some universities that trim a year off of that four years that you can bridge from LPN to BSN. Now these programs are not, there's not a lot of these LPN to BSN programs, but there are some out there, and they take you and they take you generally about three years to complete. Now, if you're an RN already, this is where the good news is. It you it is virtually it's so it's, it, there are millions, not millions. There's a lot of programs that offer RN to BSN 
um, degree, there are a lot of RNs to be in programs. Now, you guys know if you have followed me, it took me six months to get my to go from LPN to RN. Follow, I, I can't explain it to y'all. Go back and watch the videos on how I did it. WGU, blah blah blah. So, but if you're already an RN, it can take you anywhere from six months to two years to complete. Um, to get a BSN degree because mind remember an RN degree is already an associate's degree So if you're just basically taking on the the last two years to obtain a bachelor's degree So it'll take you in if you're already an RN It should take you anywhere between six months to two years to get your BSN if you're already an RN If you're not already an RN and you're enrolling and straight out into a BSN program is going to take you about four years. I hope this video was helpful you guys Please comment below if you have any more questions concerning um, our um, LPN LVN programs um, RN programs or BSN programs you guys know go back and watch my video about how I did all of my um, edu most of my education through WGU Western Governors University how I went from um, RN to BSN in six months and how I went from by BSN and got my master's in six months follow me on Instagram at Adam Deshaun if you have not already done so please 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 like and subscribe like the video subscribe to the channel if you're feeling this content and I will see you guys in the next one happy nursing bye